Six dogs versus two humans and one bath day. Let's begin. We're starting with the flea and tick shampoo. Let's wash down chili first. Chili really, really hates bats. You see, we have to be very careful. She's leaning up on me, as you can see on my leg, because she feels a lot of comfort knowing that I'm right there for her, protecting her from the scary water monster. So as you see, I'm trying to go all behind her ears. A lot of dog owners only wash the surface of their dogs. But there's more than that. You see, I wet her so I can get a bit more of a lather. I get all behind her ears, deep within the skin skin and the skin and I'm going all into that booty and trying to make sure that I'm getting from top to bottom and not missing anywhere and making sure she doesn't just look good at the end but she's genuinely clean. Chili is a medium sized dog with a lot of fur so I'm being very generous with the amount of shampoo I'm using. Trying to get all in between her toes. Okay. Next up is the Labrador Retriever, Luna. Luna, she doesn't mind water. She's a very good behaved girl. As you can see in our other videos, she loves running into the beach. We're simultaneous, blah, 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 simultaneously doing Elsa. Elsa, on the other hand, she doesn't despise water, but she'd just rather not be bathed at all. And I do, she hates it when I touch her booty. So you can see she immediately turned around and was like, please don't touch there. Just do my head. But I have to do it, Elsa. She doesn't want me to at all. She's begging me not to go and touch her booty. But you have to do it, you guys. And her precious tail, she really does like that either. And you can see she's shaking. She's a bit uncomfortable with what I'm doing. But look, we're already finished with both of them. Time for round two. It took us around 10 minutes to do both Elsa and Luna, so enough time for the Cleantex shampoo to soak into chili and rinse it off. And now we're going to use this deodorizing shampoo for her. I put the links for all of the different shampoos we use for the different skin types and breeds in the description below. So check that out if you want to try any of them. Elsa, do you know you're blocking the camera? She always loves to be the star of the show. Now it's back to Luna. Let's rinse off all that flea and take shampoo off of her. You can see she has a lot less fur, so it's a lot easier to do so. But she has a different skin type, so we're not going to be using the same deodorizing. Oh, Luna, you're giving me a bath. We're going to be using this. She uses a medicated shampoo because she itches a lot and her, t her fur tends to drop a lot in batches. So this shampoo really prevents that. Our dogs don't show when they're in a lot of discomfort. So it's a lot harder to recognize it. But when you do recognize it and when you do treat it, you can see the difference in how they behave and how they, they act because they're so much more comfortable. As you can see, we're working together to clean up all their booties. I'm, I'm there in the corner rinsing off Elsa from the flea and thick shampoo and also trying to rub her down with the deodorizing shampoo. Now, it's time for all of them to soak and we're going to go on to Koda. I love to give them all treats while they're soaking for this extended period of time while we continue with the next dog. Koda has to use this oatmeal itch relief shampoo. Oatmeal is good at soothing your dog's skin so this is perfect if your dog tends to itch a lot even after you give them a proper bath. Back to the three girls, it's time to just rinse them all off and set them free. They will no longer need to be bathed because we are complete, it's that simple. And we bathed the three of them already. We're making sure we're washing off all of the shampoo and we're getting everywhere. Yep, we're going all in the tummy, all in the, you know, the secret areas. We're going all behind the ears, making sure she's properly washed out. And you can see she's feeling a little bit uncomfortable as we get to her face, but she comes and grasps me because she feels a lot more comfortable with me holding her while she's getting the terrible water touching her. Bye Elsa, have awesome time. Okay, <laughs> look at Luna. She's feeling uncomfortable, but she's <laughs> not. <laughs> look at how she's standing. She's not making, she's not fighting us, but we're not done with her. This amazing deodorizing shampoo, it not only makes sure they don't, they remove all that stinky doggy smells that we tend to accumulate over time, but it's also amazing. It has an incredible scent. I love it. It's addicting. This is the best shampoo we've ever used. I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, this shampoo is amazing. <laughs> Look how happy she is. You're done, girl. You're done. Run before we come back. <laughs> okay, so we're rinsing off Koda with the oatmeal shampoo. And we're going to finally get on to the, oat, um, the deodorizing shampoo like I was telling you guys. We use on all of the dogs. 
After that, a good brush out with this brush. We use this type of brush for the um, dogs with a lot of fur. We use a different type of brush for Luna and Zappo, which are the Labrador Retriever and the English Bully. You'll see those, I'll show you guys that just now. But you can see this um, brush does not hurt their skin because some brushes are really bad for your dogs. But we're brushing him out right now with this brush while he's wet because it makes it a lot easier for us when he dries off. Brushing is a lot. <laughs> Look at how much. Bang! Mike drop or should I say fur dropped he's enjoying his brush Koda tends to love the brushing if your dog doesn't like getting brushed out and tends to run away a lot they're probably very uncomfortable with the brush they're using we're going to brush out Luna now so as I promised this is the, f the brush you use for short fur dogs it's a lot easier as I'll show you how it's used so you can see how it's structured a lot differently and removing the fur is a lot different as well. You don't have to, have to grasp all of them. You see, you just push that button there and the fur drops off. I have everything that we use for all the dogs in the description below to make it a lot easier for you. So for here now, we're just going to use the Flea and shampoo first and then the oatmeal shampoo. Boom. A boom. We're rinsing him off. He's not a bad. He doesn't hate water. As you can see in the beach, he does not run in, into the water. You know we do a lot of beach videos with our dogs. We're always going with them to the beach. But he, you can see he's kind of fighting me there. So you have to be a little gentle with your dog and make sure, make sure make them know that you love them. Look at the two of us. The two of us are there with him, making sure he's comfortable playing with him, brush, what, um, touching him in ways that he likes to be touched. Making sure this experience isn't traumatizing for your dog. If you're forcing them and holding them down and they're crying, you're not doing it right. You have to look at how I have him in between my legs there. He knows I'm close to him. He knows I care about him. I'm playing with his ears like he always likes to and it makes him smile. Bath time could be very scary for your dogs. It's not an easy time for them. So make it easy for them. We're back to Elsa and Chili, getting, giving them a good brush out like we did with Koda using the same brush for long fur dogs, making sure that booty is all nice and fluffy. Elsa's looking gorgeous like Queen again. She loves bats. You can see that they're running all over the place. It feels so relieved and cool. They just don't like it in the moment. She, they're going to look so gorgeous afterwards. Don't forget when you're brushing out your dogs to get all in between on the back of their ears, sorry, because in the back of their ears, a lot, that's where the knots tend to start. And don't forget also to do their tummies. A lot of knots tend to gather there as well. If they do have knots there, I don't recommend you, if you don't know what you're doing, don't cut it. Carry them to a vet. Elsa has a little bit more fur than chili, so it's taking us a bit longer to do her. Making sure we're getting everywhere. She's fighting us because she knows it's time to get to her booty. And as I said, she hates when we touch her butt. She is so <laughs> feisty about that. You're gonna, we have to literally look at her. She's sitting down because she doesn't want us to touch her. But we have to do it, Elsa. How do you expect to look gorgeous all the time? We're back to brush, um, rinsing off Hero. I'm ready to move on to round two. He got a good soak in as we were brushing out Elsa and Chili. And you can see I'm actually still brushing out Elsa trying to get this booty. And she's fighting me. But it's 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 necessary, Elsa. It's necessary for beauty. <laughs> Here is getting um rinsed off, making sure we get all in between those toes because a lot of fleas and ticks tend to gather in the toes. So you saw it there. Two humans, six dogs, two brushes, a bunch of shampoos, all in the link in the description, and a lot of clean booties at this point. This is our full routine. A lot of you ask us, how do you guys manage to keep them groomed? It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. They all got their treats and they're all happy now.